and cooking a paella. So um, I have this amazingly preheated giant paella pan here. And uh, for those of you that are not aware, paella is a traditional Spanish saffron rice dish. Okay, typically a, a traditional paella, which I will be cooking tonight, has chicken and chorizo and shrimp, clams, mussels, uh, typically roasted red peppers, peas, uh, I've got a really nice uh, chicken broth over here that we're gonna simmer the rice in. So that's the idea. I'm gonna walk you guys through the steps and uh, it should be fun. We got, we're drinking a bunch of sangria tonight. So if I seem a little off, it's probably because, <laughs> and, and then I have some horchata Thank rum. You, there's, 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 <laughs> there's time for this story. Anyway, so uh, I'm gonna start. And so I brought this oil with me. Um, in this squeeze bottle, and I just thought when I got here, I was like, what? I don't need a little squeeze bottle. I'm going to need a bit of oil to start the dish, right? So I'm just going to pour a bunch in here. This is like a canola extra virgin blend. Um, and so we're just going to start with that, right? So throw it in here and kind of get the pan going. A bunch of oil. So what? I don't know, a cup and a half I just threw in there, right? So we're making it. This is a big paella, right? This is probably... So we have like two... So... Well, we have we have like two tables at 10 and I so say there's like 20 people but of course we're all socially distanced and at two different tables of 10 so it's not not totally accurate um, all right so this pan was quite a bit hot so I'm gonna just start with a little bit of diced onions kind of start frying them up in there a little bit <laughs> What's that? Just keep going. Right. Um, a whole bunch of garlic. Now, just like somebody said to me earlier, and I like, oh, look at all that garlic. To me, this is not that much garlic, really. But for 20, 30 people, this will probably feed about 30 people. So y'all get to take home like a little to-go box tonight, too. Right? Just kind of get my onions going. Garlic. So that was, this is just uh, some fresh shallots that I cut up this morning, right? So basically the way we're going to start the dish is we're going to, uh, so here, so saffron. This is a, a Spanish spice, so to speak, which is basically the stamen of the crocus flower. And it's very expensive. We actually looked it up tonight to figure out what it costs per ounce. This is a about an ounce and it costs about 95 bucks. You can get really, really nice stuff for hundreds of dollars, right? But uh, well, I'm not sure, but Nah, it's definitely it's definitely worth a lot more than cocaine because, very expensive. you know, cocaine will fuck you up and you don't want to do too much of that. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to like, I'm basically, oh, I needed all that oil. I need to fry the garlic and the onions a little bit, start kind of get them a little bit caramelized. If you add raw garlic to stuff, it's crappy. It's like spicy. It doesn't melt. It's called for at times, but this is not the time. So I want to like caramelize it so I don't get a raw garlic flavor in the finished product, right? All right. And you'll see I have a glass of red wine here. Uh, cheers. Cheers, Paolo. Thank okay. you. So that's kind of my opening. And as we go through this process, it's going to take me like an hour. You don't, you don't all have to stand here and watch the entire time, but I'm going to go through the steps. So we start. Oh, look at that. So actually, I, I do want to talk for a minute about um, Antonio Laudisio, an Italian family that I worked with uh, 25 years ago. And I called Antonio up about a month ago and said, hey, somebody wants me to make a big pie. Can I borrow your pan? This is all compliments of uh, a Laudicio family, which is uh, an Italian restaurant family uh, up in Boulder that's been there for a long, long time. Well, onions, 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 garlic, and, and shallots. It. Sorry. It smells amazing. Oh, yeah. now, it, okay. So, Cindy, Brina, get out of there. No scraps for yaks. 
Super Fino Arborio Rice, which is a short, ga short grain Italian rice that uh, people are familiar with mostly for cooking risotto. Okay, so you guys are familiar with risotto. Have you cooked at home? Yes. Cool. Yeah. So I'm not making risotto. I'm not <laughs> making said, risotto. Pasta. I am not making risotto. Risotto is actually just a style of cooking the rice. Okay, so when you cook a risotto, you have you, you add stock in stages and you constantly stir the rice. We're not doing that tonight. It's going to set into the bottom of the pan. So you have this little crusty thing there, but and we'll get to that later because, anyways, because um, <laughs> it's hard for me to pronounce. Anyways, Stephanie can do it. We'll have Stephanie can enunciate. Yeah, but it's my name. Put it in there. No, don't give us a history lesson. Just enunciate. Okay, so I want to toast the rice a little bit before I start adding the rest We're of the rice. stuff. So I'm just gonna. Right? Raina, not for you. <coughs> so these are each like a pound of Orboria rice. So I'm going to do three pounds in here. This is, I brought it and I was kind of like, I'm not sure if I need it. This this actually is going to produce a lot. It looks small in there, but when it blows up and I got a lot of stuff. Okay, how so. Many, how many bags? I mean, what is four, that? Is that like it's a pound. Okay. It's a cute so this is a, a one pound bag, right? <laughs> you got a kilo. Don't look at me. I don't get kilo. So I'm not the only one that broke the seal. So. So I just put the rest of the oil in. I might, I could probably use a little more, but oh, that's that. all right. That looks, oh <laughs> and I have like the traditional wooden grandma's spoon right now, which is, this is kind of significant. And it, there's something about the way that the pan, the spoon moves on the bottom of the pan that just feels really good. good it's oil. different. So like what? Uh, let's check it out. So if I was to good, 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 if I was to oil. do it with this, it just doesn't it, yeah. it oh, like screeches and hurt ah fucking right. those are Korean tools. Hurt, hurts my soul, right? <laughs> Too when you brought those right? I know. Thank you, Sarah. So is risotto like a rice or is it pasta? So a risotto is a method of cooking. Oh. So in adding hot stock liquid in stages and constantly stirring it. So it's, I'm stirring it now, but once I put the liquid in, I'm gonna like not. I'm gonna let it set. So what, 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 what is that? Is that like, is that a pasta or is that rice? That's rice. Right. This is rice. Ah, short, ah. short green Italian rice. So it's, it has not a starch. Ah, right. So it's short and fat. Arborio rice. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start to get this kind of hot and like uh, almost frying it, but I don't want to get it uh, brown at this point. I just want to get it hot so that when I start adding the other things, so the next stage, I'm basically making a tea, okay? So, and this is where the saffron comes in. So it's, we are, but we're gonna start with a tea basically. So you wanna make this fragrant broth with the saffron. Okay, I have some Spanish saffron here. Yeah, the You guys are missing, I can smell, it smells so good. It does. Here we go. Yeah, Saffron. Right. Ten years, baby. Ten years. No, no, Missy girl. Saffron is pretty interesting stuff. Like, I, it took me a lot of years to understand how to like decipher what saffron is, and it, like, it, it has a really distinctive flavor that I never quite knew what to do with in certain instances, and it's it's got like light floral notes and vanilla but it's almost hard to pick out sometimes 
but for other people, so it's different. Some people, it's like they smell it from miles away and know exactly what it is. That's not my experience. I had to learn saffron and understand what it looked like to me. So, so this ounce of saffron, um, I'll probably use maybe a third of the ounce for 30 people here right now, right? I'm, I'm crushing it up a little bit of my fingers kind of like activated and you know, I don't want it ground, but it'll settle into the rice. So uh, maybe I'm using like half or more than half. I don't know. I feel like just using more. I don't know. It's lovely. Right. All right. All right. Yeah. So I used two thirds of that. It might not have been a, qu a full ounce because I had taken it from the restaurant. So so this is a uh, chicken broth that we, you know, we made from mirepoix, uh, carrots, onions, celery, a little garlic cloves, bay leaf, fresh herbs, and simmered it for a couple hours, right? So at this point, I kind of need to figure out my heat. A big part of cooking is that, like we're, so, do this little, little lesson here of the, so what does it mean to cook? Right? What does that actually mean? Like, what's the definition of to cook something? Uh, and really, the definition is just to remove water. Oh. That's it. So we can dehydrate things. We can, anytime you're removing water, you're actually cooking things, whether you do it from pickling <laughs> things or um, whatever. So that's what I'm doing. So this and is right the now, tea, right? And we simmer this uh, saffron flavor, and then I'll start to layer it with all the ingredients. Um, that are going to be baked into it. So stay tuned. <laughs> so I, mean, I just added a lot more broth. Been love with you. And I'm going to start placing the ingredients in here. I kind of want to. I want to tell a little story of a friend of mine that I cooked with years ago, and um, a friend named Jason Jimenez, and and he used to cook the paella rice every day at the med at the restaurant that I worked at, and. And he had this uh, philosophy, so to speak, that, that rice was one of the most spiritually sensitive foods that we cook. And I actually can kind of confirm this because when I was feeling shitty and stressed out, my rice was awful when I was younger. And when I like let it go and I, and I felt good about doing it, it was all, and it's always been great ever since then. So, Food does kind of like absorb the energy that you're giving it. I um, mean, if you're giving it love and it's and it's awesome and beautiful. So, so I don't know the actual how to do this. So I'm smoothing it out, right? Let's try to do it. She's a little prettier than you, yeah, right? So, but here, here's what we do, Jason. Welcome to Tara. Hello. So I'm trying to like get it really smooth on the top. Yeah. like a cake and this is, this is what he would do when he would get the paella rice to this uh, stage no when he got it to this stage he would smooth it out and he would carve a little ohm sign in it i'm not quite sure how to make the ohm sign but he would say a little prayer and he would bless his rice and i think that's important especially considering the history of the dish that we're cooking and where it comes from so we're there. Now I'm going to start adding things. We need now, to say a now is when it's going to kind of get fun. Uh, Caption, we're blessing the rest. I have some roasted chicken. And as Antonio said, you start to paint the picture. You get the tea going and then you start painting the picture. I'm so confused on the tea part. So, like, when you see, when you make tea, right, you're steeping spices and things in water, right? So that's what I just did with the white wine and the stock, and I steeped the saffron. So that's a tea. I made a saffron tea, basically. I got you. So, you got to show this guy that. So, so, we're just painting the picture, as Antonio Laudicio put it, and putting chicken in to start because it's going to... Uh, so I already roasted it for this process. So I put uh, some uh, fresh oregano and crushed red peppers and garlic and olive oil. Right? Well, if you stand here long enough, you probably will smell like the pie.
Uh, this is breast, thighs, and legs. It's the whole chicken. I'm going to start dotting it with a little uh, chorizo. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Just put it all in. Oh, yeah, right. put it all in. Chorizo, and it has like, chorizo has, it has like the garlic, the... So chorizo is like smoky Spanish sausage that has paprika and garlic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like when I first started cooking, I was cooking at the Med, which is like this Mediterranean place. And I learned to cook from this perspective of like, half the time I didn't even know what the fuck I was cooking. Yeah. It was because it was Spanish, Italian, French, Greek, whatever, and I didn't know anything about cooking. So, so this is well, this is so this is dried oregano and a little bit of crushed red chili flakes, which just uh, gives it another dimension. So, anytime I'm cooking anything, the whole anytime you're cooking is to get um, depth. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so no there's you're, you're building layers between salt and fat and spices and things. So I should add the oregano and the crushed reds like five minutes ago, but it'll be good. And I'm gonna start painting it with shellfish, basically, right? So I've got some Manila clams. Lots of shellfish. So I'm gonna do uh, Prince Edward Island mussels. <laughs> uh, the shellfish. I put the lid on. It started. The shellfish is mostly starting to open. I could tell we got it at a really low heat. Uh, so normally I would have put shrimp in here it, during this process, but I'm actually allergic. I'm the only one at the party. I, I can't have red shellfish, shrimp, crab. I'm not gonna die, so I'll, I can sprinkle it on top. And if I get a little bit, I'll get a little itchy or whatever, but I didn't want to cook it in because I need to eat. <laughs> anyway, so these have been roasted with like saffron and all the flavors of a paella. Anyways, and I'm just gonna like heat them up I could pick around them. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Holy oh, shit. So you stir this. No, so we want it to. Rice. You want the rice oh, just to like oh, yeah. kind of almost get crusty. We want it to get crusty. Oh, the pie is done. We I hope. think it's it. Well, I don't know. Like I'm I a chef. So this, you look at food, you make a judgment call. Nobody knows. Like I'm not, just because I can cook good food doesn't mean I know what the fuck's going on hey, most of the time. Hey, <laughs> ready? A oh, one, two, three. No. No. In so I, I'm, I'm kind of realizing now it's like this is probably a pie that could pee, feed 40 to 60 people if we'd all had appetizers and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I was trying it out. So I'm also just going to like drizzle a little bit of olive oil just for like for posterity's sake because of Spain and, and Italy and all that. And we just like douse it a little bit. And also in, in the spirit of freshness that I spoke of with the peas before, we're just gonna do a little parsley. Because when I first, I mean like what, fuck, when I first started to cook, somebody just told me, parsley is your friend. And, and parsley is the, the best addition to almost so many dishes. Fresh parsley is like the sprinkling of life. Yeah, it, it balances. It gives it, it always gives it a fresh something. Like adding parsley to almost anything is the best fucking thing ever. So we'll just add more and we'll fucking add it all. Let's add a little, yeah. add a little marijuana. I don't know. I love adding marijuana. <laughs> well, we could do that too, but. Um, Haven't tried that one yet. Well, I, I would like to actually collaborate with a few people that have that. Out. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, we're good. Everybody enjoy. I think it's uh, <laughs> you're getting in a video. So this is Marlies, and she hasn't appeared here yet tonight. And this is the result of her and I talking about my um, I just wanted to say to you guys, thank you, like for the opportunity for me to come here and cook this and participate in like life and people enjoying each other's company and having fun. So I'll leave it at that, especially because I've been drinking rum chata and beer for like four hours now. But 
um, like the There's significance of this amongst people and community to watch this happen and cre being created in front of you is just an amazing thing. And we all need it right now. Yeah, we do. Like yeah. with all the shit going on in the world, this is like, it, it's called my, so my older brother um, has an art project that's called Stone Soup. And he has this ama these amazing rocks that he carries around the world with him. And, and uh, it's called the Stone of Kindness. And when he presents it to someone, he takes their picture and, and it's about being kind to each other. And that's what I want to impart with this, with food. And what we are, what we're all doing and going through is to be kind to each other and like fucking have fun and enjoy each other and family and yeah. So thank you guys. Uh, chicken, chorizo, clams, mussels, yeah. Oh my God, what is going on over here? Just, I mean, this, this, is, this is the result of the paella party. Happy, happy paella <laughs> so we're frying a little churros here tonight um tossing them with a little cinnamon sugar and yeah i don't know well, oh shit Right. A little bit. That was a more. That's a 